Hello, and welcome to a game I'm calling Intrepid Space Explorers. Well, actually, it's not a game. It's a, a very early prototype of the base building mechanics. So, uh, you can play it. There's a link down in the doodly doo. But you may be a little bit. The doodly doo. Where did I pick that up? Some Let's Player, I'm sure. Uh, a link down in the description. And uh, this is a little bit confusing if you just pick it up and think it's going to be Minecraft. So, I figured I would make a little tutorial video. And as you can see, the shape of the reticule keeps changing. That's actually because we're in a base and we're building by modules. So you've got the module, and then you've got the module connector, and then you've got the module, and you've got the module connector, and then you've got the module, and the module connector. So if you want to build, you just click on the module, and it builds it, and it puts the connector around that you need. Uh, and you can see that there is a limited amount of air. Uh, your, your core module here, which you can get more information on by hitting down, will actually always supply you with more air, but if you build too fast you can actually uh, run out and the color of the airflow tells you whether or not it's dangerous. Now as you're building you may accidentally click on a connector when you, meant, when you mean to click on an actual module. For example, if I were to click here I'd be saying uh, build me, you know right now I'm saying build me a, a generic plastic wall. If I click here it says build me a generic plastic wall as a connector and the base goes okay um, which unfortunately means there's a massive breach in your base and your guy gets flung out into space, but that's not a big deal. Just uh, don't worry about it too much. Don't panic. Your guy can take a lot of time out in uh, empty air, you know, out, out in empty space before he uh, falls over. And even if he does fall over, um, that's fine. All you need to do is build your base back around him and wait for air to recover. Uh, you don't have to worry too much about. Uh, you know, if your character is going to suffocate and uh, and die, because he can't. There's no way for your character to die. So right now I'm unconscious. I can't move. Don't worry about it. It's not a big issue. Just build your base around him, and uh, and he'll recover pretty quickly. Come on, get up. Oh no, he's dead forever. No, there he, there he goes. So now it's night, and the base is black as pitch. It is dark in space at night. Um, and you're going to have to manage that. There, don't worry, there's no creepers hiding in the dark, but it is very dark. Um, for now, we're going to go ahead and t press tab and look at our uh, HUD here. And you can see that we lost a lot of health. We lost some maximum health, and we also lost some health. Um, and that uh, all depends on, on what we're doing. If you're exposed to vacuum for very long, you lose quite a lot of health. And our character's name is Torgo. That's just randomly chosen. We have 20 possible power. We're not using any of it. We've got a lot of plastic, and we're generating more. And our selected object is a generic plastic wall. And our inventory just has a generic plastic wall in it. We want more stuff in our inventory. We don't want to build it in a generic plastic wall all the time. OK. How do we get more stuff? I press up on a terminal, and you will get all of the things that are in that terminal available to you. So you can add them to your inventory. Now, if you click here, this actually will de-add them because you're in inventory management mode. To return to normal mode, you can either hit tab or up. And now we can select these things and build them. So let's go ahead and put a device terminal here and a lifestyle terminal here. And these work just the same as the base. They're basically your crafting tables. So they're full of random stuff that you may want to try and figure out how to use. And oh, it's dark outside? That's OK. Have a wall that lights up. Oh, I can't walk through this wall. That's OK. Put it over there. Make this generic here. So there's one other button you'll need to understand, and that is, right now, the F button. Uh, right, so arrow keys or WASD, space jumps, and then the F button actually toggles. So up is to talk to things, whereas F is to toggle things. So if you're going to open a door or turn off a wall, you need to hit F. Uh, the other thing you may want to understand is the nature of a bed. For a bed, regardless of how you activate it, when you activate it, you climb in and you go to sleep. And this will help you recover your maximum health. Anyhow, there's lots more stuff in the prototype, uh, <laughs> considering I didn't really build any of the things that are in those other two terminals. Um, I encourage you to go ahead and explore it. Uh, I'm sure you'll tear your base apart half a dozen times trying to get it all to work, and don't worry about it. That's the fun part of the game. Uh, and your little guy is immortal. Um, 
If he does happen to get stuck inside of the floor, for example, if you fire him out into space and he lands... Here, I'll show you. If he lands here and he suffocates and he stays there, you may think he's stuck inside the floor, and he is. So, for example, uh, come on, I need you to, to suffocate a little bit faster here. Uh, and this is just a, it's not actually a bug, it's just a miss feature. So here, I've just fallen unconscious. And I go, oh, oh no, I want to rescue him. But he's inside the floor. And he's not going to get any oxygen while he's inside the floor. Just go ahead and carve out the floor. Um, it turns out the ground is perfectly fine at containing your oxygen. In fact, your whole base can be at ground height if you can figure out how to do it. Um, the, automa the automated, uh, 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 the automation will, will sometimes uh, take some time to get used to. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Feel free to play around with it. There should be a link down in the description.